The San Diego County Prescription Drug Abuse Task Force meets quarterly to develop programs to help prevent and reduce prescription drug abuse in our region. The task force was formed by concerned parents, medical professionals, local and federal government agencies, and law enforcement, including the district attorney's office. The DA's office works really close with the task force, and we help promote the education and awareness of the prescription drug abuse uh, epidemic in San Diego County by taking part in the take back programs that the county has taken part in numerous times within the past years. We also go out to local high schools and speak to high school students about the problem of prescription drugs. Deputy District Attorney Hung Bak is part of the DA's Narcotics Division, which prosecutes prescription drug related cases like prescription fraud. We prosecute the individuals who get the false prescriptions themselves and at times, depending on the severity of the case and the patterns that we see, at times we prosecute the doctors as well too for um, not appropriately uh, filling out the prescriptions uh, properly based on their medical training. But the DA's office doesn't just prosecute people, it also works to try and get them help through collaborative court programs like drug court, behavioral health court, and veterans court. Prosecutors also consider inpatient and outpatient treatment programs instead of custody. For Chief Deputy Medical Examiner Dr. Jonathan Lucas, part of the solution to prescription drug abuse is education for both physicians and patients. The prescribing physician needs to be aware of all the prescriptions that are going to, this, to the patient because the person might have more than one doctor. The patient, on the other hand, has to avoid drug-seeking behavior, if at all possible. Once they're into an addiction, then it's, it's really about getting treatment and recognizing that there's a problem. But prescription medications are serious business, and just because they're prescribed doesn't mean they're always 100% safe. If you are struggling with an addiction or know someone who is, you can find helpful resources at sandiegorxabusetaskforce.org.